Tony and Corey here, your Weekend Warriors, and today we're bringing you a little bit of insight into the mind of a couple of Weekend Warriors, actually. What we've got here laid out in front of you is our short list of essential tools for a Weekend Warrior, a homeowner, somebody that is willing to, I would say, take on the challenge of maintaining their home. Yeah, these are tools that every Weekend Warrior needs in our opinion. Tony, what's your number one tool on this table? Um, I have to say that the one that I go to first is the tape measure. I agree. Um, after I reach for you, the tape measure is the very next tool <laughs> I reach for. Yeah, I have probably 10 tape measures at my house and I can never seem to find one. It's so the, I like to keep one in every room. When Corey and I are working on a project together, we've got an inside tape, an outside tape, a saw tape, a back pocket tape, a floor tape, kitchen tape, bathroom tape, bedroom tape, Tape everywhere. We've got tapes everywhere. You never want to be in the middle of a project without a tape. <laughs> uh, the next one on my list would probably be the hammer. And there, when you go to the aisle, the hammer aisle at your uh, par lumber, there are tons of different options. So many. Most of them are divided out by the type of handle. Uh, this one's called a California framer. It's got a little curve to it. Um, they're divided out by weight. Uh, this one is a 19 ounce, which is uh, probably a pretty uh, standard weight for newbies or uh, <laughs> weekend warriors like yeah, us. Yeah, work around the homers. Yeah, we're not framers. So, you know, I use a 19 ounce, does good for me. Uh, but the other thing is you'll see is these hammers have uh, a milled face. Framing hammers have this like waffle cutout. And that's to give it the nail. When you're hammering a nail, it grips and that way it doesn't slide off. If you're doing finish projects, you'll want to use a hammer like this with a smooth face. If you're in, you know, putting up pictures or you're uh, nailing something that you don't want to mar the face, smooth face is where you want to be. What's your next tool, Tony? Um, I have to say that um, the, the plier set is the next thing for me. Yeah. And I know this is a multiple of tools, but this is very important. What we've got here is a pair of lineman's pliers. Lineman's pliers have the ability to cut wire and also crimp and, and grab like normal pliers. This is a pair of side cutters or some, kind of, some people call them dikes. This is just for cutting wire. This is a uh, needle nose. Needle nose pliers, you gotta have needle nose. Um, these also have the ability to cut. And these of course are plumber's pliers and uh, these really give you a big bite uh, and a very, very versatile tool. These are made by Channel Lock and uh, Channel Lock makes an amazing product. So yeah. these are my next choice. Uh, the next one on my list would probably be a utility knife. This one is my favorite utility knife. It's made by Milwaukee and uh, it collapses down. The body's made out of aluminum. Absolutely love it. You gotta have a good utility knife. And I always recommend getting one that the blades are easy to change in and out. You never want to use a dull blade. A dull blade is a dangerous blade. A sharp blade is a safe blade. Absolutely. What else you got, Tony? Um, everybody knows that a screwdriver is something that you have to have in the house for so many different projects, for so many different things. But a screwdriver that is versatile, that can be a common slot, a Phillips, a Torx drive, um, maybe even an Allen. Uh, depending on what you need. So a screwdriver that's interchangeable, and then, of course, a bit set that it can be used with so that you can take the bit out of the end of the screwdriver, replace it with a replaceable bit, and have every tip and every size that you need with your screwdriver. And of course, the most important thing here, don't lose your bits or the screwdriver doesn't do you any good. Every weekend warrior needs a level. I like to have a small one like this. It's called a torpedo level. Uh, fit in your tool box or your tool bags. Uh, they're really handy to use in any situation where you need a small level. I also like to have a two foot and a four foot levels for those uh, bigger situations. One of my favorite tools is the speed square. I love the speed square because every time you want to make a mark on a piece of wood that you're gonna make a cut, slide this over one end and you get a 90 degree scribe where you can make your mark, you can flip it over, make the mark the opposite direction. And something that I learned from Corey actually, when you're making your cut, you lay this down on the cut, lined up with the line, hold it tight, 
and you can actually use it as a guide for your skill saw when you're making your cut. This is definitely a multi-tool. It can be used for laying out rafters uh, on a roof also, but this tool, definitely versatile and is for sure on my essential list. Yeah, I agree. Another essential tool for the weekend warrior should be a stud sensor. Whenever you're hanging something on a wall that requires hitting a stud, it's the easiest way to find the actual stud. An electronic one works usually by uh, moving it across the wall and then what'll happen is it'll light up when you hit the edge and it'll stay lit till you hit the other edge. So you can kind of know right where that stud is in the wall. Very handy. An older style of stud finder would be use a magnet and you would slide that across the wall and the magnet would react with the nails, of course, that are in the sheetrock holding the sheetrock to the studs. Very simple uh, the way that it's used. This is more reliable and uh, so much easier to use. I absolutely love this as well. Absolutely. Another tool that I think every weekend warrior should have is a good caulking gun. Make sure you get one that has the pressure release uh, knob on it. There's a a little lever here that as you're um, squeezing it and putting pressure on the caulking tube, you push that little release button and it takes all the pressure off so it doesn't just keep squirting out of the end. Fantastic tool to have. You never know when you're gonna have to re-caulk something in your home. Another tool that I like to have in my toolbox is an adjustable wrench. It's really handy if you don't wanna get out the uh, socket set or dig through all of your, your wrenches. The adjustable wrench makes it easy. You just uh, Turn the little knob, it's whatever width you want. After you've been using pliers for a while, your gripper gets a little tired. It's nice to have that thing do the gripping for you. <laughs> um, I'll tell you what, Corey, a handsaw. There's not always an opportunity to have power when you're working on something, or in some cases, there's not an opportunity to have a power tool where you're working. So a handsaw, this is a very simple, um, Stanley Fat Max handsaw, which works really good. This is eight tooth per inch. It's pretty much middle of the road, does just about everything. But this saw cuts on the push. Corey prefers something that's a little bit different. Cuts kind of uh, similarly, except that uh, it doesn't. Well, this is called a pull saw. It's actually my favorite saw. It's super flexible and it does cut on the pull and the push, so you can uh, cut things really quickly. Uh, but this tool is invaluable for getting into those smaller areas or if you need to make really fine precision cuts. Um, it's definitely awesome. It's called a Vaughn pull saw. Love it. What else we got? Okay, we just got a couple of tools left. Obviously, you've got the super bar or the pry Primer. bar. This is um, what you'd use to remove uh, stubborn fasteners or to get lift up something that you, you have to get into a tight spot to, you know, pry it underneath something and give yourself a little bit of leverage. This is, this is a uh, bit of a rugged tool, but you'd be surprised how often you need it. And when you need it, it's really the only thing that will work. Absolutely. Uh, lastly, of course, is, uh, is a stapler, a hand stapler. This is a T50 stapler. Corey and I used this tool uh, exclusively when we were building the uh, acoustical panels in our- Recording studio. In our studio, yeah. This tool, is very handy. Use this uh, for hanging up just about anything, and it's, it's very easy to use, and it's reliable. Made by Aero. Well, that's it. That's all the tools we have on our essential tool list. There's a lot more we're probably gonna cover later on, but I think these are the ones that you should run out and get right away. This has been another episode of Your Weekend Warriors Built by Par Lumber. We'll see you next time.